Hi. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Introduce yourself. Um, my name is Paulette mm -hmm. Akini, mm -hmm. recently Mrs. Linhair. <laughs> Shangui. <Yes. laughs> so what is it that you do? Um, I'm a businesswoman. I do like different things. Mm -hmm. I help my husband to run a gym. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I do one, two, three with my friends, like tiny, tiny businesses. Oh, thank you so yes. much. My mm -hmm. name is Vanessa James Anyango. Mm -hmm. Um, a fitness trainer. I do digital marketing and commercial modeling sometimes. Wow, this family yeah. is all about fitness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the set of a love letter. Thank you. Well, we're going to be exploring your relationship with your sister. This is the siblings edition. So if you could describe your sister in one word, what would it be and why? I would describe Paulette as self selfless. Selfless, okay. Yeah, because she's, she's a giver mm -hmm. and she's a very genuine person and yeah. So just one question. Mm -hmm. If you could describe your sister in one word, what would it be and why? Um, I always call her gorgeous mm -hmm. because uh, everyone calls her beautiful because she is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when I call her gorgeous, it entails everything that she is. Wow. And it entails how proud I am of her. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Paper covers rock. <laughs> <clears throat> What's the most annoying habit or quality? My most. Your um, most annoying habit quali or quality? Yeah. Annoying in what sense? Because I have a lot. Wow. Um, you, you know that I'm not a morning person but you choose the morning to piss me off. I'm just chilling, relaxing, reading my book, and then you come from your morning session with the loudest voice ever invested, invented in, on earth. That's the most annoying thing. Wow. Or oh, you want to tell me my most annoying? Mm, what's your most annoying? Nothing, I'm a No, doll. I feel like you, you but when, when I do the same to you, I feel like that's annoying. Anyways. Yeah, you should change that. We agree. We disagree. Yeah. We agree to disagree. Okay. What memory of us still makes you laugh? Makes me laugh. Ha ha. Or ha 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 ha. Even he 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 if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, that makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. I, I think that time we went to Soul Fest. How does it make you laugh? <laughs> because it was like we were having fun, like entertaining ourselves. Because eh, your concert is quite the ghetto. <laughs> and it was, I feel like that it makes me laugh. Yeah? Yeah. Because I genuinely enjoyed myself. Maybe it's the company. video I have of you laughing when Nick said uh, Calvin chose that. <laughs> the girl chose Calvin over him. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. It is. We'll go to the next yes. question. Okay. What is the most embarrassing childhood memory you remember about me? <laughs> Ooh. The most embarrassing childhood memory. It's embarrassing for you. Because <laughs> you are fungatwende. Like, Guy. you're following your friends around like a mawat. It, it was just, it was embarrassing for you. For me. Yeah, for you, not, not for, for you. me. For you. Okay. Next. Uh, what's one healthy thing you do to manage stress and one unhealthy thing? So you have to give one healthy thing and one unhealthy thing that you do to manage stress. I don't think I have stress. I don't allow myself to go on a stress. Must be nice. I really don't. Like anytime I feel like something is making me feel some type of way, I listen to music and it helps. Like I feel better after, or I talk to you. Healthy thing that I do to manage stress. Oh, I didn't say unhealthy. Huh? You said you don't have stress. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, say unhealthy. Sometimes I don't talk about something when it's stressing me. No, you, like you, I, you lock yourself up in your room the whole 
Yeah. Time. And, just, and then your mood, you don't talk to anyone. I just need... Because I feel like when I start talking, people don't understand me. Now you see me, what time you could explain? No, but, yes. but now, how will people understand you if you don't talk? Well... <laughs> I'm just asking. You? Um, unhealthy. I'll start with unhealthy. I... First of all, I stop eating. And then sometimes I overeat. Or I just eat things I'm not supposed to be yeah. eating. That messes with my my routine for working out and everything. And I just go into self-destruct mode because I overthink about everything and I blame myself for almost everything. Yeah. The healthiest one is I read the whole day. So that's a plus. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to burn your books one day. Zorte. And then I said that video. Like, well, like we outside. <laughs> Who was the first person to break your heart? Allah. Hey. Allah. <laughs> 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 no, there's no passing. Um, so, <laughs> give us a tip. There's this boy mm -hmm. <laughs> that, um, yeah, uh, it was, you know the person. Maybe, let me, let me just say it for Stephanie's sake. Mm. So, um, I was in college, I was young, and there was this boy, he was a dancer, never date dancers. <laughs> I'm a new year too. Yeah, see, that's the first person who broke my heart. Uh -huh. And the, the only, why would I allow another person to break my heart? He left a scar, a huge scar. Yeah, crazy. That's <laughs> kind <laughs> 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 of shake because of it. <laughs> PTSD. PTSD. Serious PTSD. Yeah, but it was it was it was serious. Like I don't I know people go through hearts in different ways. And um something that's small to me might be big to you yeah. and vice versa. But this guy literally uh shamed me in many ways than one in every single aspect of men and dogs. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So should I say no no? Do you name shame? No. No. To me, it's a... Nani? Praying mantis. Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> I should also say who Yes. So, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was like recent. Don't See, lie. I'm not lying. Okay. See, my recent relationship. Yeah. But you was, was, this, was, the, was it the relationship or was it the situation? A relationship. Mm -hmm. Leave this one. <laughs> me, I don't know anything about the situation she's talking about. My like relationship, like relationship. Mm -hmm. I was in denial because I thought like I was not in love with this person, this man. And then when we broke up, you realized, huh? well, the ghetto. It's a story for another day. <laughs> <laughs> If you are, if you are, if you are cast to live as an animal for the rest of your life, what animal would you choose to become? For the rest of my life. For the rest of your life. A lion. Why a lion? You know, lions are overrated. Think about it. They're not the biggest. They're not the strongest. They're not the fastest. But why are they the king of the jungle? Because they, it's a, it's a state of mind. You wake up and you decide, I'm the greatest. Who's going to argue with you? You, you put it in your mind and everyone else follows. It's all about... <laughs> My sister is smart. <laughs> ah, <Allah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still sticking with lion. I don't really? know why it's giving... Your favorite it's... animal is a giraffe and you're choosing the lion. Yeah, but you know, for the rest of my life, Paulette, I'm choosing it an is eagle. very rare for a lion to die. I'm choosing an eagle. Why? Because they're the shit. Nani al Sema. They're... they're <laughs> mm, mm. State of mind again. <laughs> So eagle, yeah, lion. Sure. <clears throat> What's a mean comment someone made about you that stuck with you Ooh. to this day? Hey, Stephanie is playing games with these questions. Okay, we are going deep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> ah, this this always sticks. With, I have been through my worst share, you know, of people making comments about because I have insecurities about everything about myself but the one that always sticks is one that was was coming from someone who's supposed to be my best friend shout out to people who still have best friends <laughs> um she said and i quote 
you want to be like me, you want to be me because I'm skinnier and prettier than you. So fear women. So that's stuck for life. Yeah. And then there was a time she said your son will be nothing because you choose your family over over taking care of your son, blah blah blah. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you must skin. We move on. <laughs> <laughs> for you? I have to check up on about you. Hmm. Guy, it's it's the you remember that time I told you like in primary school, the guy the, the guy who told me and I quote, I mean I when I'm ref una choma. I actually thought you were going to say about the guy who said talked about your legs or something. No, leave that one. <laughs> it's that one for me I'm ref una choma. Yeah, but so, you're, you have a beautiful height. Yeah, thank you. But now you see, this is why I can't even date like short men no 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 offense to, to the short kings the short kings shit. <laughs> no <laughs> like we can be the same height yeah. it's easy yeah. but like uh, i'll make fun of you for the rest of my life we'll make fun of you for the rest of our lives what is your biggest worry these days and why guy should i start to give you time yeah <laughs> my biggest worry is that i will not be able to fulfill my purpose in life as i always say I feel like my purpose in life. I feel like everyone has a reason why they are here. You're not just here for shits and gigs or for good vibes and inshallah. There's a purpose and most people don't get to actually um discover it. But I feel I have discovered mine. It takes a lot of me. It drains me. But um every day I'm talking to God, I'm like I feel like I'm running out of time to fulfill the reason why you put me on earth and it It really scares me. <laughs> yeah. Um I say my biggest what's my biggest worry? I feel like you see like the what I what I will like will I wear tomorrow to the gym? <laughs> I don't care about things like that. <laughs> no, like my my job that I'm doing right now. Like it scares me to think that like in the next 10 years that's not what I'll be doing. Yeah. Like I want to do it like for the rest of my life because I have passion for it like helping people change their body whatever. But now I do I'm just scared. I don't know what the future hold, yeah. holds and that scares me. That's my biggest worry. Fair. Yeah, it gives me anxiety. Anxiety. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> When do you feel the most confident? Ooh, that's a difficult question to ask someone who does not have that much confidence. <laughs> Like at a lucky dog, what a kid dog. Um, look for it. Hmm. When do I feel I feel like I feel the most confident when I'm boxing. Boxing is my way to vent and all yeah. that and I I strongly believe I'm very good in it. I feel like no one can tell me I'm not good in boxing and that I hold on to that so much because it takes a lot for me to actually um claim something as me being good at it even when you people tell me oh you're you know you're such a good person baba i'm like people there are good people out there not me you know so boxing there's no one who can tell me i'm not good at boxing i'm actually very good at it so yeah i think that one i do it with so much confidence like i feel like i feel most <coughs> confident when you know kama when you are like seated in a crowd and then you're like vanessa come talk to the people that's when i feel most confident because i'm like Whatever you think of me like yeah. it does not have any like value in my life like I've been chosen this is my moment you're literally seated there listen to listening to me yeah. so yeah I feel that's when I feel most confident as you should people as you should what event what event in your life has had the most significant impact on you event in your life has had the most significant impact on you Why do you think I have the answer? <laughs> Cuz you're smart. <laughs> uh, event in my life. <clears throat> hmm. Most impact is is being a mama an event. It is. It's I feel like um <coughs> when when I was pregnant you were there and I did not have anyone there for me. Yeah for ever and most people take it personally when i say my friends were not there for me when i needed them the most and that is the time i needed them the most and um 
I was not ready. I was, I was 22 years old. I did not have, it was a job, but it was not stable, stable. I did not like my job. And here I was pregnant. The person who did this to me went where he went. So I was there like, um, well, <laughs> right? And then this beautiful baby boy came out and he was the most, he was the happiest person I've ever met. He, like, we went through so much with him and um, I just grew. From that, I just grew as a person. The way I, 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 I'm thinking, the way I, whatever I'm doing, everything I do in my life, I do it for my son. And that made me grow because I don't think I am the person I was. Maybe a bit of it before I was a mom. But then when he came, I was like, um, I, and I made a promise, I was like, God, I don't want my child to have the same life I have. I have had or anything of that sort. I want my child to be better in everything than me. I want him to have the best life, you get? And that really shifted the way I think, the way I act, everything about me. So that's a significant thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. You know, I'm cute like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, I would say like the first time that I, Kanana, yeah, that's my client. Like the first time I actually saw that I changed someone's body. Yeah. Like she started feeling like confident, her legs were defined, her back, her arms. I was so proud of myself. Cause like, you see, <laughs> fix your face <laughs> i feel like like where i work like it's a it's a nice place but then it's like male dominated True. so i feel like it's very toxic sometimes like people try to bring you down but this was like proof to them that like i actually know what i'm doing and i'm going to succeed yeah can i get an amen amen sister <laughs> period <laughs> no, it's near you those ones are ready yeah i'm gonna confirm what in your opinion was the most rebellious thing you've ever done in your life? Personally, me. Yeah. Oh my God, story time. We have the most, I don't know if she's the st most strict parent, but our mom is like, <laughs> I, I think she was worse with me because I was the firstborn, but she was so strict. And then, back then when I had friends, these people planned a birthday for me in a <coughs> club. And then they stole me. Now, how to get me in, to come actually to stay past my curfew time was they told me your, be your best friend is at this club. She, uh, she's in town. She's stuck somewhere. So we are walking around town. They're like gathering people, gathering people. I'm like, yo, I have to go home. They're like, no, 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 no. We have to get her. We have to get her. She's at this club. I got there. Surprise. Yo, I was so pissed. It was 12 a.m. I'm like, my mom is going to kill me. This woman is going to skin me alive. And that, I think that was because I am I'm, I'm a good girl. I don't I don't do anything I don't do anything to piss off my parents or anyone. I'm just like I stay on people's good side. But that was so rebellious. The next day I went I went. She was the one who opened the door. I was like, Nah, this is it. I'm dead. And she was so cool. She was just like, oh, Come in, it's okay. And I'm like, ah. like, what in the world? I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> No, because now I was sleeping with my one eye open, like she'll come and snuck me. But yeah, no, I don't do bad things. I'm a, I'm a good girl. But you, mm. you say you're most. I can't think. Even. Because there are so many. No, like mm. when I was young. Even now, you still do things <laughs> that I say no to. Pull it. But you do. Pull it. Let's not. Let's not. Let's. Like, like what? Let's. Like what? Like, should I say? <laughs> it's okay. Say. <laughs> the other time you went out <coughs> with your friends. You said you're going to Gemini <laughs> or Alchemist or whatever. You're in Ibiza. I don't even know what the Ibiza is. I saw on your I saw on your status that you're in Ibiza. Let me explain. And you know how paranoid I get. Let me explain. And then you came back to my house at 8 a.m. in the Let morning. Me guys, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain. You see, like when you start going out, like for example, mm. it's a Saturday, and then I tell you, Paulette, I'm going to, for example, Alchemist. Club Ikibosi, we have to club hop. That's what happens. My question is, who are you going with? My friends. You don't have friends. What? <laughs> <laughs> Maureen and Aliyah. Those they were not the there. <laughs> it's them. It was them. <laughs> I swear. You're lying. But I'm not rebellious. But I tell you before I leave the house. Now because I got pissed at you. No, but I all, I normally tell you. Hmm. Paulette. I agree to disagree. I do tell you. 
if you could go on a dream trip together, where would we go and what would we do there? Psst. <gasps> no. Ibiza, no. In Spain. Sherehe, sherehe. No, like it's because it's you, you're like chill, you like books, you like like coffee dates, whatever. So like Italy or Paris. Okay. Come on, don't play. We will, that's exactly what we would do. Like this sit one. in like coffee, whatever yeah. thing is. And go to all the bookstores. And like dress nicely like Stephanie, you know? Yeah. Look cute and all. Period. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most rebellious? Th oh, yo, I've already read this one. Did you ever get angry at me for something but stayed quiet about it? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever get... Did but I, I feel like we, like... Nini, our relationship like has gotten better. Like, yeah, in the, days we like communicate. Yeah, in the beginning, Kitambo, yeah, eh, we used to be you, moody you are the problem. You, 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 you. you. Paulette, especially you. It's you. You, you, you have. Let me tell you what you do. No. You, no, let me tell you, Paulette. Listen, listen. Oh no, me don't even answer that. You, you have this listen. tendency. I'm taller than you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have this tendency of when I do something, you don't tell me. You don't say nothing. You are pissed. You are moody. In that the happens. House. Like that happens like twice. You, you need to talk to me for a week, please. Well, please. Let's not. Let's not. <laughs> let's actually not. That, that one was that. different. No, that was different. I'm saying Kitambo. You also used yeah. to be like that. You, you also used to, to be like that. No, you did not, we did not know how to communicate with each other. Let's put it. Let's leave it at. We had not established that we are grown ups and we are going to walk past our traumas and all these things. That's the way we have been raised. Because we've been raised in a home set where communication was not there. When him taught your mother. Exactly. So once we got through that. We go through the rest. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> the question was, did you ever get angry at me for something but stayed quiet about it and why? Yeah, I got pissed at you a month ago. And no, I, we talked about it after a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why am but I why? So many? Why? No why? Why? Because because it was um, I was extra extra hurt by <clears throat> because I felt like you did not have my back. I was expecting you to have my back, and you. I feel like honestly, honestly, honestly. I feel I feel like you chose yourself over me. Yeah, and I felt like okay. So if you're going to choose yourself over me, it means even if I tell you about it. Does not make any difference. Also, I'm st I was still like very, very pissed even a week later. So, yeah, that's why. Why do I have many? If salary and experience didn't matter, what job would you most want to have? Salary being money, mm -hmm. hey, money. If salary and experience didn't matter, didn't matter. What job would you wa most want to have? I don't want to be a Kardashian. You <laughs> did not just say that. Now the whole world will actually. Because <laughs> <laughs> seriously, what do they do? Enjoy life. Exactly. Uh, you, uh, they need don't money. Need experience. The, they need money. Do though. they need experience? They don't need experience. Exactly. Okay, Sava. Specifically, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> for life. You? Um, I would want to run a shelter. I feel like there's a lot of homeless people and no one does anything about it. And the people who do any, something about it do it the wrong way. So if money, I'm going to say money, I don't want to be paid to do it. I just want to help people. Yeah. <coughs> See, let me ask this one. When was the last time you made me cry? Last week. Wah. Yeah, you. Stop pointing me. I'm older than you, okay, first of I'm all. So, Pole, <laughs> well, me, remember the last time you made me cry? Okay. That, Nini, that recent incident. That one? Yes. We are not that was to last month? No? Yeah. This month? It was last month. It was this month. It was last month. This month. Beginning of this month. Oh, yeah. What, what was the incident? Eh. <laughs> Vanessa? Tuneza, tuneza pitia pitia tuju. Yeah. <laughs> so, Paulette got pissed at me and my brother because 
we were supposed to show up for something and then there was like no communication on whose end i don't know but me like i really i nearly shock wambia like what transpired yeah i had explained myself and then the next day you you came and switched up on me so realistically speaking you're supposed to be pissed at Marcus, not me because okay. we had already talked as i said i'm pissed but now at you, you because you, you generalized because <laughs> because don't me. <laughs> <laughs> that too because you were not there for me i felt like you're not there for me but did you understand my point like where i came from with the why i was yeah i did I you did yeah yeah so that was the last time we met i was angry i wasn't crying because i was hurt i was crying because i was angry when was the last time you made me cry have you ever even seen me crying mm How many you, times you are, in your you're life? You're a crier. You were just almost crying right now. Wow. Yeah. I'm like it's not a bad thing to uh, to be to be in contact with the emotions. I didn't say it's a bad thing. You robot because you don't have a heart. <laughs> I didn't say it's a bad because thing. Because you don't have a heart. I didn't say it's a bad thing. Anyways, you you don't make me cry. Yeah, I do. Okay, so when was the last time you made me cry? I can't. You no, know, my memory is fucked up. I can't. Shikumbuki. What's the worst fight we've ever had? The worst. Why are you smiling like a weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> the worst fight. Yeah. Is it this recent one? I don't think it's that one. I think I don't remember. I don't specifically remember when, but it's that time that we literally shouted at each other. Okay, I was shouting because you never shout. Exactly. I'm a very calm, <laughs> collected person. I just chill. You shout, I'm there like, okay. No, but um I don't even remember what actually happened. I I think it was one of these two dramas of viewers of not speaking and just being moody. You just wow. wake up. Today you're bubbly, tomorrow you're just like don't talk to me. I hate everyone. Oh, I feel like it's that time you got pissed at me and then ukanituma kwa mami. You told me to leave. You, you told me to go back to to your mother's house to mama Marcos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the I don't remember the exact scene. I feel like that was the biggest. And then yeah, I think it's that one. I don't very remember what you're talking about. You don't remember telling me to pack my bags and I, I remember that part. Yeah. But I don't remember what exactly happened for us yeah. to get to that point. Ulikuna kasirikanga tu vitu kidogo. So you got peace. No, 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 no. Uh, you are not no, no, listen, no, you are no, not listening no, to uh, me. No. First of all, <laughs> you are not listening don't dismiss to me. my feelings. <laughs> listen. Kasirikanga give to kidogo. Polet No, like this. That's the tiniest thing can piss you off. Give me an example. For instance, <sighs> exactly. Kila kitu I nakasirikanga about it's something that actually makes sense. Any of us? Let's agree. I think you'll have to finish this with someone else. <laughs> it's not to me. <laughs> Let's agree to disagree. <sighs> to Paulette, my sister and dear friend. I love you so much. Words are not enough to describe. I think of you and I know that you will be there for me even when I can't be there for myself. But don't worry because I'll do the same for you. In a heartbeat. You're a selfless human being who deserves nothing but genuine happiness. Mother, sister, daughter, wife, aunt, literally all powerful titles that are you or are for you. Godfather. <laughs> You are like my angel with a love that always glows. You are one of the greatest gifts my heart will ever know. Yeah, love though. <laughs> <laughs> That's my letter. You actually called me your friend. Polet, to see and tafadhali focus. Focus. You don't consider me your friend. I do. No you don't. Polet, you keep saying we are sisters, we can't be friends. Mambo za nyumba unaleta hapa. Relax. Relax. Okay, so <clears throat> Guy. <laughs> Guy. <clears throat> My beautiful butterfly. From the first time <laughs> From the first time I met you, you were just so dramatic and an attention seeker. Cuz why were you crying that much honestly? I mean you are one day old but still. <laughs> What was this drama about? <laughs> Over the years I've watched you uh, through all the phases of life and it has been a great honor. I'm in love with your soul 
your heart and your spirit. You are so gorgeous to me. And I'm not even talking about your beautiful face, no, your banging body. I'm talking about everything that makes you Vanessa. Your discipline, your loyalty, your strength, your ability to tolerate me. <laughs> <laughs> we have been through some bad days since we were very young and have seen things kids should not see or go through. Um, and look at us now. As we God always did. say, God did. God did. <laughs> I literally wrote God did. <laughs> I can't imagine a single day without you in my world. And us working on our relationship was the second best decision of my life. The first being a mother, of course. Um, I'm super proud of the woman you're becoming. And don't listen to anyone telling you you should be like me. Because what I want from you is for you to be better, do better, be more, do more. Because I believe in you and I will always be your biggest cheerleader. F the sky because there is no limit. For you, I adore you, gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's so sweet. I know, I sit like that. I get up, my chosen can be talking. Are you guys seeing? It's here. <laughs> it's here. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Are you Lily? How is your heart? <laughs> <laughs> like currently, say, 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 say. Um, I'm at peace. I feel loved. I feel appreciated. And thank you for making me do this. <laughs> yeah, don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending you an Andre yeah, here. No, 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 no. <laughs> but um, you are my anchor. Literally, it's it's. I always tell you, um, I don't know many sisters who are close. And the fact that me and you are actually this close, to me it's an achievement. And I go collecting small, small achievements. And this is the best thing ever. My mom literally gave birth to my best friend, even if you don't consider me a friend. But um, let's not. You, you, <laughs> you're amazing. You are my heart. That's, that's all. Aww. You're my heart. Thank you for being you. You're welcome. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> me, my, you're supposed to ask me, Allah from Donijibu. Sawa. Vanessa, mm -hmm. how's your heart at the moment? Right now. Yes. Right now, <laughs> um, my heart, my heart is full. I feel like every, every time we hang out together, it's, I'm always happy. Like, it's just like a happy moment. Like, yeah. you do the dumbest things. You're not funny. She's stupid funny. <laughs> That's what I tell her. She does the most, like, the most random things. And they're, they're dumb, but they're funny. I feel like you make my day. You see, you see when I come in the morning, I'm always happy and genuinely happy to see you. And then she's like, I'm not a morning person. I'm not a morning person. But I'm happy to see you. I, I you. see your face. Are <laughs> <laughs> good for me? <laughs> I feel like I don't remember like our lives like to Kikua Dogo, like our childhood. I don't remember. Like I remember us like when we started fixing our relationship and chose to bond over our traumas. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. Because at the end of the day we have each other, you know. Yeah. We live in the same house, we're always together. And when I don't see you actually I feel like I feel like there's there's something missing. You know, so you like, miss me when I'm not around. I do, genuinely I do. I miss your smile. Your teeth, she has cute teeth. Your height, she's she's tiny. She, she's, <laughs> she's cute. I just feel like you make my day every day. When I wake up and I see you, I feel blessed and happy. And thank you for doing this. Because I was, I told you, I just sent the thing to Nyambura, and then she replied. I was like, we are going. <laughs> but I'm happy to do this with you. Yeah. Yeah. And Marcus, we love you also. Don't feel left out. That's our brother. <laughs> He'd be like, you guys are always doing things without me. I don't know what. We love you. I love you guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My uh, Instagram is Akini Anudo. I should change it to Akini Lin here. But Akini Anudo. I also have a TikTok page for readers, for bookworms. Yeah. It's called Reading with Paulette. Yeah. And we have a joint account for YouTube, for our joint sister account is the Anudo sisters. I yeah. think it has underscores somewhere. 
the underscore anudo underscore sisters. Yeah. Yeah. We have a YouTube channel so you guys can go subscribe. Yeah. You want to give them a little like a brief whatever for our YouTube whatever with the smart one. Go. Wow. So <laughs> what? Like we literally just talk about anything and everything because we spent too much time together and we thought why not start a YouTube channel and just take our dramatic conversations over there. Yeah, it's it's relatable. My name is Vanessa. As I said, I'm a fitness trainer. You can find my fitness page at fit with underscore Nessa. And then my main account where I post my social life and my opinions where I piss people off is at African underscore Nessa. And then you can follow like our YouTube at the Anudo Sisters, Instagram, the Anudo Sisters, TikTok, the Anudo Sisters. Also, we have a gym in Colosseum. Yeah. That's where Catch us that's there. where champions are built. <laughs> <laughs> if you stay along Gong Road, yeah. Even if you don't even Gong. if you don't stay along Gong Road. Yeah, just... Stephanie, you can come for a free session. I got you. <laughs> <laughs>